What up YouTube, it's your boy Jay Light, uh, doing an update on the 75. Um, not a whole lot going on, um, but I did recently get a order of pods for Reef to go. Um, I added them in here because I'm going to let them go for, well, there goes my uh, Slimer. But uh, I'm going to let those chill in here for probably about two to three weeks. Um, let them establish themselves in here and then uh, I think I'm going to get a red mander in. So uh, that's what I was planning on doing. Um, I don't really see that many now. But obviously they're not enormous so it's going to be hard to see them. But uh, I figured if I get them in there and give them some time to establish themselves and try to reproduce a little bit, then uh, there'll be plenty of food in here for a mandarin. Um, and then hopefully I could get the mandarin to eat pellet food too. Um, but nothing's really going on. I'm starting to get a ton of coralline algae, which is awesome. It's kind of hard to see one. I'll hold this way with it. I can see it all in the glass over here. I think I'm just going to let this do whatever it wants over here. I'm not going to scrape it. It's just a such, such a small, um, small piece of glass. But I think I'm just going to leave it. Um, that's the bird nest. Um, I fragged some of it right there pretty good sized frag. It's got some really awesome green color on it. Um, I don't know why this one doesn't. This one really does. I mean you guys can't really see it probably. You can see it sort of the green and the pinks going on in there. It's got some awesome color to it. Um, let's my, hold on, let me get my sling right off right you. Starting to get this bubble algae on it. See it right there. Oh, there we go. Um, if anybody has any idea how to get that off, I don't want to squeeze it off because a lot of algae is like that. If you squeeze it, it's just going to reproduce more. Um, put seeds out into the water and stuff. So, I don't know what to do with that. Um, what else? Um, my anemone wasn't out for the longest time. Um, I think I talked to a lot of you guys about it. On how my anemone used to hide a lot. Um, but then I read an article online where, um, you could be giving your anemone too much light. Um, so that's what I did. Or not too much light, but the duration of the lights on was too long. Um, that's what I found out what was going on with mine. And I took away, I think, two hours of the light cycle on my tank. Um, all the corals are doing fine, if not better. Um, and my anemone is starting to come out a lot more, which is awesome. Um, even though I don't got any clowns, but I should be getting some black onyx clowns soon. Um, but yeah, so this, this guy right here, this torch, um, he had a rough little time. Um, he fell off the rock, I had him glued onto the rock and he fell off. I don't know how, but I think it was probably my, uh, my pistol shrimp and my goby, um, kind of buried him. So he was under for a while. Um, I found him, I think just in time. And he's been sitting there trying to recover, I guess. I mean, he's starting his, um, like, tentacles or whatever you want to call them are starting to come out a lot more. Starting to have more of them. Um, so I think he's going to recover, but we'll see. Um, I've been feeding all of them some Cyclopes um, to try to get the most growth out of him the quickest so he's not looking rough. Um, see if my uh, hammer has that LG2 right there. It's kind of cool. This is starting to split into two heads. That's a branching hammer. 
Um, over here I have these pallies that I glued to this rock and hoping to get some of these, um, I don't even know what they are, but the orange zoas right there on there too. Figured that'd be a cool little rock to have. Um, but other than that, this frog spawn's doing good. Um, fish are doing good. That's about it, guys. Um, I haven't done a video in a while, but there's not a whole lot going on. Oh, um, in here, I changed this, too. Sorry about it being so red. I gotta turn it like that so the blue actually looks like what it looks like in real life. But, um, so it turns the camera really red, but that's what I got. I got this new light. It's just one of those shop lights from Home Depot. Um, I think it was six bucks and the bulb was like three. It's really starting to make wood. Um, hard to even see it. But, uh, I got some little pieces of, uh, Cheeto in there. And, uh, it's growing that. Cause I moved all the rocks that were in here into this first chamber right there, you can see. Um, I left these sponges in there from the pods to just give them some place to hide until that shade oak grows a little bit more. Um, let's see if I shake these. So I don't know, I mean, hopefully there's still some pods in here growing. I'm thinking they're going to be in the rock work if they're in anything. I don't know. So I'm hoping there's going to be enough food for that mandarin. Um, I'm going to put in the order for it for my LFS. And we'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah, until then guys. Um, nothing's really going to happen too much. Um, if I reach 150 subscribers, I'm definitely going to do that contest. Um, I got to get to the store and get a new bottle of fuel. Um, and I think I might grab one other thing. Um, I don't know, just something interesting. Nothing too big, because it's only 150 subscribers, but enough to make you want to do it. So, we'll see. Um, so yeah, um, that's about it, so later guys.